Hello again and welcome back to day 7, the final day of our lighting Grenada Caracol and Petit Marapig as they are celebrating their 50th independence anniversary. And today is the actual day of independence in Grenada so it's celebrated really really big. Now I'm adored in my colors of course, I have my 50th independence anniversary badge, I'm sporting my earrings which are the colors of the flag and I have this pretty dress on and i'm representing in full as you can see and this is a big deal so i just want to commemorate and to be patriotic with grenadians both abroad and locally now today is the independence day celebration parade and so i'm going to show you clips of what the parade looks like but first i am going to show you other clips as to what is actually going on in the country to celebrate this golden jubilee it's everything grenada it's everything Grenadian, from the food to the attire and all the activities that highlights our culture. And what is independent celebration without our national dish, oil down? So I'll be showing you and explaining to you how oil down is made and all the ingredients that are in there. So this food is going to be cooked on a wood fire outdoors. So here's a preparation for that. And then we have all the ingredients here, pumpkins, okra, coconut, for the coconut milk turmeric gives it good color and flavor then our breadfruit which is a main ingredient we have chicken wings we have smoked herring saltfish salted pigtails green bananas kalaloo or dashing leaves and dumplings you're probably wondering how all these things are going to fit into one pot but normally when oil dung is being made it's one big pot with everything in it that can probably feed the whole neighborhood and nothing goes to waste. So oil lung is packed in a certain way and it's layered. So from the bottom to the top, you're gonna to layer the food and everything goes in here. So go ahead and take a look at how this pot is packed. You just layer it from the bottom to the top as you go along, the breadfruit goes in the bottom and then you keep coming up with the meats and the callaloo and the seasonings. You can see there's onions and garlic in there. The meat's already seasoned up or marinated as some people would say and the food that cooks faster would be closer to the top so as you can see the pot is almost done being packed and this is what it looks like when it's done but we're not done here yet we're going to add some more pumpkin to the top and everything is going to be a nice soft tender texture and everything's going to marinate and marry and come together and melt in your mouth once you take that first bite and this is just a coconut milk that's going in here with some turmeric mixed into it. Some people put curry powder sometimes, that gives it a little bit more flavor. Now the saltfish and salted pigtail and smoked herring was already pre-soaked to eliminate all that excess salt that it contained. And then we have the dumplings coming here. So this is some flour and it's seasoned with turmeric, just with turmeric, and rolled into a dough and that's the last thing that goes in the pot besides maybe some more coconut milk if it's required now sometimes if the food is like right at the rim of the pot and the cover of the pot won't stay on then a banana leaf would be used to cover it until it starts cooking down nicely to make room and then the, the cover is placed on the pot and as you can see it's going really nicely out here and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Can you imagine the aroma and the taste of that? So that's what my national dish looks like. And this is how it's made. And I can tell you, it's definitely delicious. It's flavorful, full of spices and herbs where everything marries together in the pot. And the aroma is something that you can hardly resist. So that's it about the Aldo. Now for more activities of the 50th Independence Anniversary Celebrations, for the Governor General's Gala, where people attended, dressed in their formal wear, decked out in their beautiful gowns, taken in this moment, and just being proud to be a part of 
this celebration. And I must say how proud I am to see the elderly come out in their colors, representing their heritage and just wanting to be a part of it. It's something beautiful to see. What a remarkable moment. Now in commemoration of this golden jubilee, the new $50 bill was unveiled. Featuring Sir Eric Matthew Gary, the father of independence and the first prime minister of Grenada, who brought Grenada to its independence in the year 1974. The next phase is that of Prime Minister Maurice Bishop, who in 1979 overthrew Sir Eric Matthew Gary and led the revolution until 1983 when the United States of America stepped in. What a scary time in my life. I was only five years old. And a little history for you there. Grenada is the only English-speaking country in the Caribbean to have had a revolution. Now I'm going to show you clips of different groups marching and some in their formation. And these organizations include the police department from different contingents, the Pathfinders group, the Grenada Red Cross group, and many other different remarkable organizations. And to note, this is not the end of it just because today is Independence Day in Grenada. The festivities are going to go on beyond today. And now I say with pride, happy 50th Independence to Grenada, Carriaco, and P.T. Martini. You're a big deal. We have more work to do, but we're going up from here. I hope you enjoy.